You ready? Yes. To begin Let's the reveal? Go. Let's go. Let's begin with the Pac-12 champs. They will be the defending Pac-12 champion, Utah Utes. Well, it'll be a team awful Rose Bowl, and how about this? No, no early Thursday home opener. Week one will be against Florida for Utah. How about that, Yogi? <laughs> I love it. I think, look, if Utah can win the Rose Bowl against Ohio State in two and a half weeks, they're going to have a chance to be a top five team going into the offseason, a top five team in the preseason, and then, of course, Here's the rematch again late in the season against the Oregon Ducks. Yes, this will be week 12, so we could see if Oregon and Utah do the same thing they did this year, a similar scenario where you've got a Pac-12 title game between two teams meeting for the second time in two weeks. Now, you get that Southern Utah game week two. We're used to seeing that maybe early Thursday. You see Florida there on the road to start. What else stands out to you? Well, I think that there's no messing around for this schedule, right? And again, Utah, they've entered new environment. We talked to Kyle Whittingham on the signing day show about it. Them winning the Pac-12 title, it was a pop for them in recruiting with their brand. And now, again, if they win the Rose Bowl, they'll be top five in the season. They'll be top five preseason. They'll be talked about all season long. You want to talk about press clippings? You want to talk about interviews? I mean, the staff of Paul Kirk and the comms department <laughs> at Utah is going to be busy with the hype around this team, and they deserve it. They deserve it. They're legit. They are the kings of this league right now. And yes, they lose the defensive player of the year in Devin Lloyd, but they got a chance to return a ton of talent. So to me, they're worthy of all this praise. So I start there, right? Obviously, in Billy Napier, a new head coach. We don't even know what we're going to see. They're, one of their quarterbacks just entered the transfer portal uh, yesterday. So we'll see how the thing shakes out. Uh, San Diego State, uh, can they avenge that loss. I look at ASU. That's one that really stood out to me. They go on the road for their fourth game of the season. They put it on, put it on Jaden Daniels twice in his career, right? As a freshman last year in the second half, Utah ran away with it. Can they beat him again? Right? That is hard to do. That place will be rolling in Tempe. So I look at that. And then I go to the UCLA game. You just saw highlights of them against UCLA. This to me is going to have the opportunity of two undefeated teams. Right, college game day, get ready. Mm. I mean, you're you're gonna go to that game. I, I love the elements of that matchup. We'll see what happens with Dorian. Nobody knows who's gonna be the quarterback necessarily. Nobody said anything either way for that. But I I love that matchup for them. And then you reference how they finish, uh, two on the road. Yeah, right? it's They're their only back to back do that. road games of the year, but they come at the end. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I mean, I think Utah, Oregon. We've called a couple of those games on this network. It's been fun to watch, and now that thing is growing. Right, it's growing into a legit rivalry. And next year, can you imagine if again they're at the top of their respective divisions and their CFP implications and they play each other again two weeks later? Uh, I love it. And, and I think when we get into Oregon schedule, you'll see that it's set up well for either one of those teams to make a real strong case at the end of the season for their college football playoff argument. And one thing you might be wondering if you look at the Utah schedule, when is the Florida return game? The answer is the next year. They'll host Florida in 2023. No BYU on the schedule in 22, but they'll play BYU five out of the next six years. 